Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing something very different. Uh, we're checking out and judging the maps that were made in the Generative Design in Minecraft competition. And this is basically a competition that challenged um, a bunch of people to make AIs, right? That make maps in Minecraft um, based on a load of stuff. Um, here we'll click onto the page, I suppose. Um, so yeah, it's kind of making these maps that make sense and that can be almost man-made, but they are procedurally generative through an AI or through an algorithm. Um, yeah, so basically I was invited to play all of the games, so I'm going to play all of the games and I'm going to do the little filling out the scores not on recording um, because that sounds right. Cool, cool. It took me ages. Let's do one first. It took me ages to just download... To figure this out, I don't know, I've not done mods before. Um, each person submitted three. Wow, it's gonna be like you've never played Minecraft before. Each person submitted three maps. Um, so I'm not sure about all of this. Random walls, we've got some sheepers, hello. Should we go inside a house? Are we in creative mode? I haven't played, there's no door. Oh, here we go. I haven't played Minecraft in the best part of forever. Can I go in? Thank you. Oh, there's like something there. Just a blank tile. Okay, so simple little houses. This one looks like a big community house. Okay, we can open doors. Inside's a bit chaotic. There's something that I'm standing on that's just not like loading in, it seems. So I kind of like the general make of these houses. They have a lot of stuff in them and they seem to make quite a bit of sense. They just didn't seem to react to the ground. Why am I just getting up on you? What's going on, Minecraft? Ugh, this is when I get frustrated with Minecraft just for being Minecraft. The terrain didn't seem to work as well as one would have hoped. It's kind of a bit jumbly. Got some carpet. I guess some carpet didn't load in, and that's what this is. It's just like carpet tile that's not quite there. Look at this place. So yeah, got lots of houses. I don't know, I'm gonna check out each one for like five, five minutes on screen, I guess. It seemed like the right time. I don't know anything about. Um, wow, such a farming town. This must be a farming area. This is cool. I don't know anything about how one would make a mod for Minecraft, to be completely honest. Um, so with that said, <laughs> I really don't know like how it works. What's this? I'm just going around destroying stuff. But I'm sure you can check out the contest. Um, and see more information about these maps and such. I like how it did spawn us in the middle of everything. Yeah, I'm not sure about these little fences that are sort of everywhere. These little, uh, I don't know, they look like protective. They are kind of, some of them have torches which will light it up for monsters at night time. Um, oh, there's horses. Alright, let's go. Let's go, I need probably a saddle. Yeah, that horse is like, nah. <laughs> Watch me rediscover my addiction to Minecraft through this. Yeah, it just looks like a little farming village, really, to me. Splash into the water. Oh, new recipe unlocked. Oh, okay, cool, good chat. Didn't know there were so many achievements now in Minecraft. Remember this game back when it was on Tick Source. I don't know. Cool little town. I'm going to load up the next one. I'm going to keep it. This is the first three, I should say. The first three are by the same person, Adrian. So we're just checking out Adrian's three maps. All right, this is the secondary map, yeah. Doesn't look to be a town. So I guess we were lucky before we spawned. There's a town. We spawned straight in on a town, I was going to say. I used to take towns, more farms. 
and that. Oh, is this like the same one? Did we spawn into like the same exact town? Yeah, it looks like it, so. Did we do one before? Okay. I don't know if I clicked on one again, sorry if I did. <laughs> oh, that was like falling. I used to take pre-made towns and I used to try to make them quite different by replacing all of their bits. Um, so by like replacing the wool walls with like beech wood. I used to really like beech wood in desert scenarios. Like where desert towns happen. Desert towns. Alright, so we've got like the same farming idea. With these little bits of farm and these little fences. But I don't really see any houses. Okay. That's a whole side field. Another one of these towers. It looks like they were trying to do something a little bit more to me and just didn't quite get it done. Because I feel like there should be more around this and stuff. But there's obviously not. Hello, sheep. I don't see any houses. It's interesting the sort of patterns that these fences, I don't know what to call them, these cobblestone fences have made. And it looks like it's almost trying to like protect the farmland from whatever bad monsters can come and destroy it. But this one just doesn't have any houses. Also, how come single player mode is just automatically putting me in creative? What if I didn't want to be in creative? Like, I'm... Stop. Like, I'm so glad that I'm in creative so I can fly, but... When on Minecraft works. Here's a little house. This is cute. This is like a little cute farm area. This is a good spot it picked. Yeah, so I guess a bed should be there, but it didn't spawn incorrectly. Oh, yeah, nice, nice flooring, orange. These seem to be the houses. I like the brick roofs. They're cute, cute little houses. That one's quite nice, tucked away there. Alright. Let's go into the third one. That's still the first one. Um. Did we just in the third one? Are these like switching the order that they're in? Because I feel like... I feel like they are. Okay. Oh wow, some lava. Some more animals. Some more of the same. All three of these kind of looked uh, same-ish to me. But I guess they are the same and they're just different ways that they've generated in. This is a big farming area. I think maybe this may was meant to be a silo. Would that make sense for like the farm area? So a silo is where you like store grain um, and corn and other things. Cause corn is technically a grain, but a silo is where you store a lot of the stuff at a farm. In case that's obscure knowledge. We've got some desert. So all of these houses spawned in really close together. Again, they didn't quite reach the flooring. The floor, but that's fine. Then you're a bit buried in sand. house. This is like a little town. Got different houses made out of different materials. Where's your door? You don't seem to have one. Okay, so occasionally they spawn without a door. That's fine. I'm gonna just kind of break door-like holes in some of these. This one had a door. Very pink. Ooh, it's a door into another area, but it doesn't have a door to the outside. I think they just kind of came in too close together. That's weird. Oh wait, that wouldn't get us inside. This one would. As I say, it's like weird kind of breaking into their houses. This one's got doors for days. Rug. The ones that have like fully made themselves into houses are quite nice. I 
that's a weird, a weird cluster. Really wanted to make a village there or something. We've got two more over here. Hmm, something's obviously there, something's that just didn't load in. There was a door, I just didn't use it. <laughs> Okay. Well, this one has like a separate room. It needs a torch. Oh, I don't have anything in my inventory, so. That's got like a cauldron and stuff. Okay. Give me the torch. Are we in creative where everything with break dies? This tree is on fire. Beautiful. Okay. We're gonna go into the next project. All right, we're on to the second set of maps. Awesome, these aren't the second. Oh, yeah, they are, they are art. So this is by Art Code Outdoors. I'm gonna start with number one, and then they're gonna rejink it. I'm gonna click on the wrong one over and over again. So there's a bunch of questions that go with the different categories, so I was just taking a break to answer that. Wow, this is like a big path area. So this looks like a high society world. The red, very empty houses, but that's okay. I mean, obviously, this is a town that's for sale. Lots of flowers. This is very cute. So this one was built, like, right on the path. I can't get indoors. It's definitely my fault, but I do sort of wish there were stairs. A long time ago, look at that pillar, back when I played Minecraft, <laughs> which I'm going to keep referencing because I'm playing Minecraft now, um, there was an issue with stairs when they, like, spawned in, them being backwards and stuff sometimes, so. I'm really liking these, like, dark, almost purple with the red. Like, it's really nice. It looks super fancy, and I guess the diamond lighting pieces, which was meant to be lighting. So they wouldn't actually be lighting to keep monsters out right now. Thank you. Um, but they definitely represent lighting to me. And because this is in a flower field, it looks really, really nice. Like, this just leads up to the field. Totally stairs there, though. No, they're not. They're half blocks. Totally half blocks there. What a cute bridge taking into accommodation the water. Yeah, I'd build a town like this. I like how because the sand... Oh, that's cool. So this is like a different type of path because it leads to this wheat field, which even has like a little scarecrow in it. Oh, wow. This is very cute. The inside of the houses really could use a little bit more decoration. These houses are on the path, so they're, and they're also this one's gray. So it looks like these would be for the less, um, I don't know, expensive. They'd be for the less expensive folk. But this looks like a, a cathedral or something, to me anyway. Got like a little light today. It needs some stairs to get upstairs. This is a really pretty town. A couple different types of houses. We've got like L-shaped ones. We've got big rectangular ones. We've got ones with two stories. This one's quite big too. Lots of farmland. So that's to keep everyone alive. To me it feels too fancy of a town to actually have like farmland. But, you know, to each their own. I guess this could be a fancy farming town. This looks like the farmer's house. Green flooring. So yeah, they decided not to spawn in any different items within the house. So you could decorate it as you please. It's very nice. Let's just check to see if there's stairs in this other. I don't think there are stairs in here. Me trying to fly down. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be stairs, which is a shame. Well, this is a very nice town. So here's where it kind of messed up because this is like a pond. It didn't quite get the whole bridge over, but still. We've got these like grass paths. To more farming areas. We've got grass paths to the lake. So many houses. It would be a very heavily populated town. We've got like, I'm not sure why we have a brick building. I quite like all of the wool buildings. I don't think we need more variety. I think the color scheme was very good with the wool. But that's just me. I quite like the idea of the wooden house being the main farmer's house because it was quite big but also not fancy. 
and farmers are often looked at as like not very fancy. Now we've got sort of the outskirts of town. Still nothing inside them, but that's okay. So we've got big brick houses. Oh, they've got like the purple roof though, so they kind of match. Um, still in need of stairs, but something you could add in, quick renovation. Oh, uh, because it's creative mode, I don't know how to open up my inventory. Uh, because it's creative mode, we could have totally... Awesome. Sorry, we could have totally put torches in that one house and the other build. Uh, let's go into the next map. Oh, single players, so... We've played in one, now we're playing two. This is such a nice area. Alright, so they've picked sort of... This looks like a totally different type of house as well, so I guess it's showing us that the house in this sort of mountain-esque biome would be these sort of big wooden houses. It still needs stairs. Oh, or not. I figured there'd be an upstairs, but there's just not. Sorry for destroying your house. Um, quickly leave. They're really cute, though. I'm liking the floorings. We've got the same type of pathing. That kind of ties everything together. A lot of pathing. A lot of paths. We've got some farm over there. Look at how long this house is. We've got some, like, longer ones. I'm smart to showcase these different biomes. Yeah, this door was a bit stuck in, but... <laughs> You've got a building behind you, which means your glass doesn't really work. That's okay. Still, the aesthetic is very different from the last house. Last house, last town. Nice to see the same little bridge. Oh, so it looks like this one didn't quite get built. It's the house in progress. Hmm, interesting. Land is pretty cool around here. What's this? Oh, yeah, it's like a little stand type thing. Not sure if this is meant to be a marketplace or something. Is this made by them? Yeah, it's like a little rock bridge. Okay. That's cool. I guess it sort of goes to your house. It's not very functional at the minute. Okay, a little house up on the mountain. I like how they tried to make paths to everything. I think they're quite fun to follow. We've got more houses out in the distance. Lots and lots of buildings, obviously. Some neighbors. These buildings are huge. Well, look, this one looks quite abstract. Yeah, just a big open area. What's this? Some wood. Okay. Cool. <laughs> These ones are a bit clumsier to me than the last ones. They're still pretty nice. Let's go into the third map. Oh, and another, like, styled building. We've got some T-shaped ones. We've got some ones with, like, the pillars. We've got some chickens on top of ones. I'm not going to go inside them all. So this is more similar to the first lot. Different doors. Like in the color schemes on these. Hello, water. Oh, and the path is sort of a brick road type path. Which is nice. I feel like Minecraft has sound and the sound's currently off. So I like these houses. Goes into the sand. Yeah, they look nice. Oh, so that's like meant to be like a town square. Cute, so it's like a little stand, like a little farmer's market stand. That's nice. This is definitely very reminiscent to towns that I would have built. Um, with stairs though. Because I used to love paths to everything. 
Look at this little house out here. Yep. Got a little bit of farm. Not a whole lot of farm in this one, but it is like a desert, so... Totally understand. That's like a mansion over there. It's very nice, though. Mansion upstairs, but she doesn't... No stairs. One floor mansion. Need to teleport to the top floor. Like the bricks on top of the roof, those black bricks are really nice. Another little farm. So yeah, it's got, it's got some farms dotted around. Just more towards land. Hello, animals. Glad you're chilling looking at these empty houses. I like there are different types of paths. There's like the big main town road almost, and then there's like little dirt roads too. It's very nice. Next. That's number wing. Alright, we're on to our next set of three. This is by Burlier. Sure, we'll start with one. As always. This is a fun time. So I was taking a sip of it. Ooh, energy drinks. Look at this mix of like stone and wood. I feel like on the path it looks a little random. But look at these houses. Oh, it looks like some like artist place with the yellow windows and the different types of coloring. This is beautiful. Lots of houses here, like lots and lots of houses. It looks like it's gonna be another one where there's nothing inside. So beautiful. I would definitely live in like any of these houses. There's a lot of them though. That one's quite big. Wow. I quite liked how it's uh, clay and also wool. And the inside had these like detailing. This is a lot of fine detail. Wow. And again, we've got like a bunch of farms. You have to actually go through the fields. Oh, look, it's covered over the water spots as well. You'd have to like go over the fields to get home to this house. Looks like there's stuff inside of it. Let's take a look. Door. Alright, so they tried to build like a bit of an inside. Maybe this is like a windmill? What is this? Oh, it's a little guard tower. That's wonderful. So you can look out along the fields. How do I throw this? No. Oh. Does not know Minecraft controls. It's kind of moved around the water a bit. What is this cobblestone? Cool, thank you. I place this down. No, I want to place it. No, oh, I'm just breaking stuff. There we go. That looks good. Little pond outside. Wow, lots of farmland. <laughs> There's a lot of houses, so I guess you need a lot of farmland to feed all of those houses. There's still paths around the farm. That's cool. It's a good idea. It just kind of ends here. There's like a thick wall where it's like we've stopped now. Um, but yeah, so it's generated this area. This is very nice. So there's like an actual windmill. So many different types of buildings. Can we go inside? Let's go inside. Yes, it's just another. Go up here. Yeah, I guess the other one's a windmill too, not a lookout tower. I'm just gonna fly out here. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Yeah. And orange ones, they're different colors. Huh. What a lovely area. This is super detailed. I do wish the inside of the houses were decorated, but I guess because that first one that we checked out, the inside items were kind of like messed up. They didn't quite spawn in correctly. Maybe it makes sense. There's a blue one. But I don't know, I quite like having stuff inside. It's a really lovely town. Ah, oh, like the lake has a nice little thing around it. I don't think it's very lit up. Um, I feel like a lot of these towns so far, apart from the first one, 
haven't taken into consideration how dark everything will get. And that's one of the first things I do when building my own towns. So this is all about how like AIs, this is a little messed up, how AIs um, are humanistic. You wanted like a humanistic uh, algorithm that made houses much like how humans would build them. And I think the first thing that I put down when I build towns is lighting because when it falls nighttime, I want to be able to see stuff. So I do wish these had more lighting. I see like it's definitely tried to patch in all of the water with cobblestone. There you go. This is really nice though. Very beautiful farm town. Let's go into the next map. So it's a two, yeah. I can count. Yep, yep. So again, very similar, but this one's uh, it looks a bit more mountain esque. Still got the big windmills. Got lots of farmland around these like little pools that they've definitely tried to edit a bit. Some more little houses. Hmm. So this is like a deck. I guess because it's on this mountain, it's got like a little deck. That's pretty cute. And then you could just hop around here. So yeah, that makes sense for some cool land here. Yeah, so I guess these are what the mountainside houses are. Look at that view. Can you imagine this view from your house? I heard a monster. But can you imagine this view from your house? I quite like how they've done those. I feel like that's what this map added was those mountainside houses. Which are super cute. Because I've left uh, a window open. Because the window's open. Uh, my door behind me keeps like slamming shut and it scares me. Not slamming shut, but like catching. And it just like frightens me a little bit every single time. So I need to close that after this set. Maps. This house, okay. I've got like I quite like these houses, to be completely honest. A bit densely packed here, but it is a mountainside. And I like how the windmills are still always by farms. Windmills, windmills. It's another solid break, though. Where it like ends. This music's a bit like scary. <laughs> and whatever they're doing around the water, it's some place didn't fully set in. Let's go into the last one. Alright, this is it in a desert. Very densely packed here. Hello, sh sheep, this is not your house. Get out. Okay. Could definitely walk around this place. I think inside the caves, it'd be cool if it went inside the caves, but I bet you that'd be hard to sort of generate. So we've got more like this redwood scattered throughout. Makes it look less clean to me. I like the sort of rainbow clean look. But I guess this is like the desert. Yeah, it's like the desert version. Lots of houses. Quite densely packed right there, and then it kind of spreads out to the outskirts of the town. Same as always. No furniture. Redwood inside now. So just trying to make it a little bit different for different volumes, which makes a lot of sense back into like, well actually this is the same biome and it's a bit different, so more red. Back into like farmland, we've got, ooh, big! This is a big house. Looks very big anyway, from the outside. It's sort of tucked up into these mountains. This one's burning slightly, but that's okay. <laughs> Happens, lava. 
don't know. How do we fix this? How do we fix this at cobblestone? Protecting the house. There we go. And the house is already burning down. Well, we saw it before it burnt, which is pretty good. Well, yes. This one's got like little steps. Okay. Not sure if this is very useful. Hmm. It's a bit too densely packed for me to ever buy a house here. I do like how they've tried to stop all of the water. These are some good sets of houses, though. Very colorful, very unique. That's a pretty nice too. Next. On to the next three. This time it's Eduardo Huck. I don't know if I said his last name right. Ooh, we've got a city with like little towns on the outskirts. Little towns, little houses. Ooh. Okay, cities do glow a little bit. What are they? What are those? To me they look like this. Is that what they are? No. What is it? Sea lantern? Okay. I take back everything I said about the second town's diamond thing. It's definitely sea lanterns. So they've really decorated the inside of these houses. They're quite big. They're all varied. We've got paths everywhere. Very nice. Do we have stairs? Jupiter and the quest for stairs. We have stairs. Uh, amazing. It's so not going up a skyscraper. There's like a door. This is so cute. So the outside of the house is way more whoa, simplistic than the last two. But the interior has more just detail to it. I'm probably gonna fly out of the top of the skyscraper once I get to the end. Wow, I can't really fly, is what we're learning. Cute rooms. I'm just gonna break out of the reef, because that's the type of person I am. So despite the outside looking a bit more basic, the insides are really nice. Uh, a bookshelf, a table, a bed. Kind of wish because of the size of the house that it was divided a bit more. So that there were like different rooms almost, like a kitchen, a shadowy bedroom, but I don't know, that might be super hard to make. Oh, look at this patterned rug! That's cute. Well, there's another pattern as well, like a little checkerboard. It's pretty cool that they were able to do these like little patterns. I've seen the inside of that. Water just hanging out here. Not a whole lot of outdoor lighting. The last few haven't had a whole lot of outdoor lighting, so. And I totally thought. Actually, well, the one that had these sea lanterns had lighting. I totally thought that they weren't lighting, but they are. Lots of different rugs. I don't use doors anymore, clearly too good for doors. Some cow died here. Pretty similar to the inside of these. We should probably check out another skyscraper or two. Let's go down from the top of this one. Do we go in this one? No. Then we like little pattern roofs. This is very similar to the houses down there actually. Only they're sort of attached to these big skyscrapers. They're cute. They do need more lighting, definitely. Everyone just needs more lighting. They tried to put in some lights. This is a neat pattern. With the Halloween rug.
Wait, the stairs are on the other side. No, we're at the end. So how do we get out? This door. I think the door should be over there, so that's not like behind the staircase, but. Those are very cute towns. Pretty similar on the inside. Let's open up the second one. Done one, we're going to two. Alright, so this is how skyscrapers would look, I guess, on a mountainside. It's a bit weird to have skyscrapers on a mountainside because it kind of see like flattens the land around it. But I'm guessing the insides are gonna be quite similar. Yeah, same basic rooms. I would have personally put these houses up on the hills and then these down here. To sort of swap those around. Again, we've got these buildings with all the different patterns inside of them. I'll take a look in. Terrain doesn't seem to have too much of an issue in the way that it built around them. Oh, that's cute. It's like this isn't even an issue either because there's a ladder. Or some problem solving there. This house is like a totally different material, different material from like the nether, nether fortresses. It does seem to flatten a big area of land around it. Speculation. Just a basic house. Not a whole lot of new stuff here, just kind of taking the same and putting it in a new biome and seeing how it would work with mountain tops. Scaffolding to hold the lights is very smart. From the outside, this just has like you can see the lights in every window. This is neat. I almost wish the tops of these were more decorated, or just the sides of the buildings were more decorated. But it's hard with skyscrapers. Like even nowadays, seeing skyscrapers, they all look pretty plain. Or some of them are just like made fully of gra of glass. Brass. The windows are up too high to actually look out of them though. It'd be cool if the windows were like this big. Yeah, that's how we oh no. I think that would be a better look. more functional as well. That's just cloud. Alright, let's open up the last one. Does that even just fall? There we go. Hi, Cave Darius. We've got some skyscrapers over here. Whoa. Some more townhouses. This is what they look like in a desert. So they obviously like spawn in on that area with the grass, that much grass around it, which I think limits it to not being good in a <laughs> in this biome, uh, in a desert biome, because it's bringing its own little path of grass, which looks a bit odd, if I do say so myself. That's cool. That they tried to go with two different types of housing, though. And it's pretty neat what they've done with these huge skyscrapers. I'm sure that was a very good feat to have. And the rugs, again, were really nice. I do feel like this big would be nice. Got some more paths. 
pass from the big city out to the little town. There's no farms in this one. Um, there's been farms so far, like all of them. So it's interesting to see no farms. It's like the house the furthest away from town. You could walk everywhere. Even some ladders put in, like there, so you can climb the hillside, which is smart. Lava's destroying everything. Here, pig. Just casually falling into lava. Mm. I get caught off guard by the rugs because I think they look so cool. I used to walk around my server destroying the little bits of wood left in trees so that they despawned because I found them ugly to be just treetops everywhere. What a cute place, yeah. Next. On to the next set of three. This is actually second to last. This is by Julos. I don't know if I've said that right. Um, Julios? I don't know. I'm not good at pronouncing names. My... Oh, these look a lot like the houses I would build. A lot like them. I did full windows, actually. Look at the flowers. I don't know if that was like meant to happen, but it's very nice. Very empty houses. We've got some lighting, torches. I used to do, you guys want to see the lighting that I used to do? Because we've got everything here. I almost wish I could type stuff in. I mean, I'd probably use sea glass now, but like back then I didn't have sea glass. Um... Light gray stain. Oh, I didn't have light gray stained glass either. With that. Let's see if I can put that away. This. So this is what I used to do. I think. With these. Oh. What? Why can't I do this? No, I can't build in Minecraft, it's been too long. And then there's like these side doors. Where are they? Where are the side door thingies? These are not all decoration, I disagree strongly. There's so many items in Minecraft now, like what even is this? End crystal, okay. Um, these. Now watch me break this all over again. This is pretty standard light. I used to do some with glass as well. These were the lights I'd do all the way around. Cool, good chat, good chat. Back to this. <laughs> all these houses appear to be quite empty. Which is a shame. Love the path. All the way around this river. This is such a beautiful biome to do it in with all the flowers. This just suddenly ends. I almost wish there something there. Ooh, there's a tower in the distance. Let's go check out the tower. We've got some farms, little step ups into them. We've got cows and a little pen. Very well lit, this entire area. I've been complaining about lighting for a while, and this one was like, Here's your lighting, Jupiter. Thank you very much for caring. And, you know, I appreciate it as much as I appreciated my lighting thing. Is there a door to get inside? There is a little entry point, not necessarily a door, but a doorway. Look at this little tower. This is very cute. Oh, we can go higher as well. If we can climb ladders. Come on out. Wow, yes, yeah, super cute. Higher still. Be like a giant bell in here, I bet. Some sort of warning thing. Got a lot of uh, confusing paths here for whatever reason. But that's all right. Maybe the the town was just like, let's have lots of paths, like just lots of them. You want 10, I want 400. Do all the paths. Oh, it's a very cute area. Oh, we've got a chicken pen. Hello, box box. How are you? Quite like that all of the animals are in their little areas. I mean, these cows have escaped, but that's okay. We can have some free roaming cows. Looks like a very nice, very well put together village. I'm liking the two different types of wood and all of the flowers. This is very cute. Very cute. And all of the pens are actually full, so they've all worked right. 
Oh, that was a striped sheep. I was very confused. It's like, since when do they add striped sheep? Once again, the houses could be more full of stuff, but it's a very nice area. Oh, they made a bridge. The bridge is completely functional over the water. Got a few things that didn't quite spawn in correctly, but you know, happens. It's a like, thin house. Different shaped houses, but quite a few. I don't want all of these flowers. Get rid of them. This is very nice. Past just sort of end, which is a bit weird, but let's go into the next one. like the mountain area. Got four houses right next to each other. I'm gonna assume these are all empty as well. Yeah, they look empty. Lots more farms. Right, let's see if we can actually walk up this. Yeah, we can walk up this fine. No effort. That leads you up to a small building. Goes around, just kind of ends there. There's another tower. Really do like this tower a lot. It's a nice design. Loads of pigs around it. So the tower's up on the hill as well, which is quite smart. And most of the town is below. Good pathing system. More of the little farms. Makes a whole lot of sense. We go around the water here as well. Bridged area. So this is, a, is placed into the land quite well. Oh, I didn't want bread. Yeah, it's very much placed into the land quite well. Super well laid. Pretty nice houses. Just all empty inside, you know. Really, someone needs to buy these houses and start living in them. Plenty, plenty, plenty of lighting. Should go into the last lot. This one seems to have like slightly different light uh, lighting. Wood. Wood on top. It's sort of reddish orange wood. It's flowing right underneath the bridge. Very stable. Hello Enderman. It's got sandstone for the desert area. Well, that's quite nice. Still put in like grass underneath the animals, which makes a lot of sense. We fill a little bridge that spawned in. These are nice. I quite like buildings that are more using the material in the desert when they're in the desert. some half on half off that have picked what they want to be. So I guess these are a couple different biomes, so a couple different types of housing. So this gives you more of a, a widespread. I was hoping that the tower would be made of sandstone so that we could see a sandstone tower. What's this? Some sort of water thing? Well, it looks like it's just the path. Oh, here's the tower. This one is just stone, it's not got like it's dark accents. Look at how high it is. The tower clearly is meant to spawn on like the highest peak of the area, which is very clever. It's a super nice tower as well. This is a huge area. It's not a 
follow this path forward. Ah, uh, just sort of ends up here, okay. Uh, very much like the sandstone areas. Very cool looking. There's definitely access points to all of the wheat and to all of the animal pens. Ooh. Which is well thought out. Next. We're playing the last set of three. Alright, this is by Philips PCG, so I guess procedural generation stuff. Start with world one as always. This has been really fun to judge. Oh, there's a lot of pathing here. We've got like a communal well. Communal wells are fun. Is the inside of houses decorated? Hmm, doesn't look like it. It's weird because one of the questions in judging, I like these fences. One of the questions in judging is like how functional everything is. And that includes like having access to crafting benches and stuff. And like a lot of people didn't seem to consider that. I quite like the bench and the bridge. That's cute. Got a lot of fencing, which means that baddies would be kept out. Literally nothing inside this house is though. If we cross the bridge, we got some farms, the farm areas. They're accessible, yep. Got some more houses. Two wells. A little farming bit. I think these bridges might have been a bit confused. Well, that place has like a little garden outside, that's very cute. Very cute. Big tall windows. Houses themselves are nice. You do have to sort of follow the paths. Look at this. A little outdoor wood oven. You can do some pizzas. Well, you grill. Grill some stuff outside. That's cute. Oh, I can't actually get out that way. Alright, fun. I do quite like the like wood oven outside bit. There's still nothing inside these houses. Oh, it looks like the path kind of broke a bit there, but that's fine. I do have quite a few different cute houses, but this one looks kind of like a church. Yeah, got a library bit in there. Got some more doors, okay. Reminds me of a church, plenty of lighting inside, and on the corners of the buildings, which is again good. We're just gonna break in. Oh wow, well, there was lots of stuff. Oh, okay, so that's like another... I don't know where this was. Oh wow, well, are these just slabs? Okay. Sure. Fixed it. It's just a different church because it's made of stone. As opposed to the one that we were just in, which is made not of stone, but instead of wood. Do you like a little chimney on the pizza oven? I would like a pizza oven outside my house. We've got a big barbecue, which is pretty cool because you can barbecue. Well, I'm not very good at barbecuing and a pizza oven I'd use far more. Just don't like the whole lighting and then being patient while the fire just kind of dims out to warm coals bit. Cute, alright. Bit cramped, this town. Um, like the double bridges and stuff make it seem a bit cramped. But I do like the different house types. I also maybe the different fencing, which does very much uh, kind of protect you. Seems a bit odd to me. It's because it's hard to kind of walk around. But I don't know. There's enough gaps, actually. I take it back. Let's open up the next one. There we go. Sorry, I forgot to shut my door. Uh, let's do two. More on a mountainside. Oh, these are long bridges. Look at these. So you can get across these areas. It's a neat idea. And then you could go into a mine here. There's a house. This house. 
So this is more of like a mountain biome. I like how each of these maps provide three different areas. Lots of fencing. Another one of these cathedrals. A lot of churches. A lot of churches in farm town. Lots and lots of uh, pathways as well. But pretty much the same houses. Do like these porches a lot. They're pretty cool. I do feel like this is the type of town humans would build, like real live humans. Maybe with more decorations in them. Little tiny baby bridge. Definitely cut off this like generation here. There you go. Those trees will dissipate. It's me oh, correcting the trees. Just bringing up your property value. Homes. Some good neighbors. So we're supposed to go up to this house from here. So we'll walk up the stairs there. Hello, squids. And if the sheep can do it, we can do it. We can just hop over to this little area. We could have followed it all the way up, that's fair. Pretty easy place to walk around. Lots of empty buildings. Got a nice farm area to feed those. So they don't seem to be like broken because of the terrain or anything. They did spawn in quite well. Even though this house was clearly built after the snow had fallen. That's totally nothing to do with Procton. It's just funny to not have like snow on the roof when there's snow on the ground. But maybe all these people like shovel their roofs. You don't know. My dad used to go up and shovel the roof uh, whenever it snowed so that the weight didn't break the roof of our house. <laughs> And most of our neighbors do the same. I do find this garden to be really adorable. I've not seen a whole lot of Minecraft houses with gardens. Or with, like, you know, pizza ovens. So both of those are really creative ideas. And I think they add a lot to the character of this place. Let's go on to the third and final map. Alright, so we've done that thing where they have the sort of redwood, I guess because the redwood's around here, so they've replaced a lot of the buildings with redwood, giving it more of that to be featured, just local wooding. Uh, I don't like redwood, so whenever I see it, I'm like, eh. I do love, however, the sandstone version. I just love desert biomes, I think. Oh, this one's very busy. There's lots to see. And there are some new, new types of buildings. So we've got the same, like, cathedrals. I'm calling them cathedrals. And then we've got, for houses, little tiny sand castles, which are really adorable, actually. I quite like them a lot. Hello, bunny. Do you want to get out? Get out of my house, bunnies. I'm going to leave this door open for the bunnies. They've still got pizza oven houses. I like that they've done them all like little sand castles. I think that's adorable. We've still got farms, still got the garden houses. It's just different enough so that you know you're in a completely different biome with different resources. And that's a very good way to be. We should be able to like... Where's ladders? This. Let's pick this corner. This should be how every house is built. So we can go up on the roof. Because that's really cute. But I very much like the sandcastle houses. Still got a good pathing system. We've got our little bridges. I think the little bridges are quite funny. I feel like maybe the AI could detect that if the water wasn't that big to just not put it in. But maybe not. Who knows? Maybe that's a bit too much of an ask. I very much like the long ones in the mountain biome. 
and we've still got like lots of fencing, which sometimes is a bit odd, but a lot of times works quite well and looks kind of interesting as decoration. Plenty of lighting once again. I know this video is something completely different, but I was asked to judge this competition and wanted to record checking out the world. It's been a while since I've got Minecraft. There's a bridge too. Since I've got Minecraft working on my computer, so it's cool to kind of explore and see all of these different generative things. And it's really fun to have been a part of this. I very much liked and enjoyed all aspects of all of the worlds that I have been to. And this one, I quite enjoy these sand castles. Like even this has like a little sand castle top. Yeah. If you want any more information on this contest, there will be a link in the description and you can check it out for yourself. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting and subscribing. Bye! Look at this little detail.